we are right here and we're going to be doing every other plot for our plot checks. So we are going to start with 31. So we'll get in the raw and then we'll head up the mountain. And it'll be good fun. My name is Shannon Jonason. I work at West Fraser in Quinnell. My job in at West Fraser starts the day after the, the logging's done and they've decided that they've taken all the wood to town. And my job is to take their clear cut or partial cut and turn it back into a working forest that will support the environment and the animals. We're kind of allowed to do what we want to get the block to to get to free growing. We have our, our government legislative requirements. So our trees need to be so high and so tall and free from brush and so many of them, but we're allowed to get to that end result in our in our own best way. So when they, the planters get the trees, they're still frozen. They're like little popsicles and they <laughs> stay straight up and down. And depending on the spring, you're moving around to different blocks so rapidly that you don't know exactly which blocks are going to be open and which ones aren't. So we found that the IRAPs are a good, good investment. Our blocks have requirements to have a certain amount of small mammal piles left on the block. So our critters can run from the tree line out into the clear cut get some food and then get back to safety and this just a, is like a little island of safety they can hide under so while we're doing our planting checks we are also looking at what the block is going to need to make it to free growing so right now our trees are this big they need to be in in the area that we're in our spruce trees need to grow and be clear of the brush at one meter so when we look around the block at our brush, we're kind of looking at any of the brush that is going to be taller in a meter because that'll affect our crop trees at free growing. I think if you like being outdoors and are interested in forestry and plants and animals, that would be a good thing. But just know that if you don't like little trees, there's more to forestry than just doing silviculture or just doing planting or just doing operations. There's many different parts of the forestry, like our woods department. There's so many different jobs that if you don't like one section, there's a chance that you really like and excel in another spot. 